Okay, and today we're going to look at drawing a ladybird. So the first thing, we'll look at the picture I've chosen. And then we're going to start to think how we're going to simplify this to make it into a realistic drawing. The key to drawing is always draw lightly. Look at the image and then simplify it. Start off simple and then start adding the details. So first of all, I'm just going to lightly sketch it out. I've drawn like a, a rugby ball shape to show the body of the ladybird. And just above it then is another sort of half scene rugby ball coming out. So I've drawn a line up and a curve over join into his shell. I'm going to look at his body next and sort of simplify that. And it's kind of like a rounded square or rounded triangle. So I'm just going to lightly sketch that in. And there's a little bit more on his head, and it's just like a rounded square again. So let's look at the picture and then simplify it for the first markings you make down there. Now we've got to add the legs. If I look there, just between his head and his body, I can see a little circle. And I draw off it a thin, tri long triangle and another thin triangle to show the little sections of his legs. There, it's a little square and a triangle going off. And then looking, it joins onto the next section of the ladybird's foot. One last leg on this side. So I'm in a half circle there, triangle off going quite close to his body, cutting it back a little bit there, and then adding kind of like foot detail. Just going to add some detail now, drawing in the spots on the ladybird that give it more familiar feel. Now we're going to look at the head. You see these white sections here against the black body. And similarly, on the small head here, I'm looking for details. So I, can find, I can see these little pinches on the front of there, so I'm just adding them on as I see them. This is the more artistic bit where I'm adding detail that I can, can see on there. It's still quite simple though. Here we have a leg on the other side of the body, just peeking over. Again, it's a triangle, with a triangle off. Let's go through that again. Rugby ball shape. Straight line, and then curve it back. Okay, so that's the body. Now we need to really look at the head. Again, looking at the picture, I simplify it. We draw a rounded sort of rounded square or rounded triangle. That's the main section of the head. And then just another rounded square on the top of the tip of the ladybird's head. Let's add the legs now. So again, a little rounded section, thin triangle. Look at how far it comes out in comparison to the head. A triangle for the foot, another square. Thin triangle coming off for the second leg, and another little triangle coming off. Last one goes back along the body, let's so half circle, triangle, and just the foot detail. One last leg now on the other side. It comes out along the head, so a thin triangular section, and then you just add a little bit of detail for that foot area. Let's go back and add some artistic detail now. So we're going to go back, draw the white sections for the eyes. And then this round black circles to go on the red body of our ladybird to make it look more like a ladybird. I'm thinking that looks done now. Oh, just the pincers to go on the, the nose. There we go. You have a go now. Good luck. Okay, now we're going to learn how to draw a squirrel. So we're going to break it down. Let's look at this squirrel and see what features it's got. It's its tail and its hands holding a on there. Let's start off. We'll start off with something simple. We'll go for a circle for the body. And then we're going to join it down. Two diagonal lines going down to a square base. That's going to be where we fit his legs in. For his head, draw another circle like we did for the mouse on the other tutorial. A rounded triangle for his little snouty nose. A rather pointed nose. So for his, 
this tail wiggle for it on this one. It's just going to do a kind of a big exclamation mark. And then there's a little hook in the tail, so I'm just going to add that detail now so we get the flow of the tail. Okay, for his arms, I'm going to start off with a little sort of triangle and a rectangle going up towards his mouth where the acorn's going to sit. Give him a little paw and put in that acorn. His feet just indicate where the foot coming on one side and his foot pushing out to the side. And the other one pushing forward. Okay, let's make him look more like a squirrel. Let's give him some pointed ears. There's one, and then the other one on the other side of the head, just sticking out. With the eye, you do a circle, but then point it off on the two corners, towards the start of his nose and towards his ears. Add a little nostril, and then this is my favourite part, just drawing, tracing underneath the jawline to give him a chubby cheek. Then connect the squirrel's head to the body. And we start to get there now. Let's add some little claw details for his feet. And I'm quite pleased with the effect of this squirrel. Got a little indication of another hand there behind. And let's put a little bit of fur detail, just a mark making to show the fluffiness of that tail. And a little bit of fur on his body. Should really have rubbed out the sort of skeleton background, but it's a quick drawing, so I'm happy with it. Just done a few whiskers. Okay, now I'm happy with that. Let's go through it again so you fully understand what we did. So first up, let's do the circle for the body. Two diagonal lines going down, almost like a sort of bucket holding a bowl in it. And in a circle to indicate what this head's going to be, just off to the side. And a rounded triangle there to the, for the pointed nose of our scroll. And then connect the head to the body. Don't worry if you think your squirrel's looking too fat. Just continue with the lines now. Look at the picture, and I can see these sort of straight lines with the bones in the back of the structure. So I've taken a little bit off the roundness of his body there. Add the little foot sticking out to the side. And his other foot sticking straight forward. Not looking much like a squirrel yet. Let's see here we go. Look for his, uh, his paws now that are holding that acorn. So start off with a kind of triangle, slip up to a rectangle, just that little indication of that pole. And let's put an acorn in it. Okay, let's add some ears to give him a far more squirrel like feel. And the other ear on the other side, just obscured by the head. Again with the eyes, round circle, but just point it off a little bit when you get a chance now. I'm quickly going to go back and rub out the bits I don't want. It might distract me from my drawing, so I'm just giving myself a better indication of what I've got to work with. Okay, so let's give a little point to the eye now. Let's give him a bit more character. A little point on either corner of it. A little nose detail. And my favourite part coming up next where I just add a cheeky little chin there that looks like he's maybe got some food in his, in his mouth pouches. Looking there, just give it a bit of detail. Going down here, just to indicate that the squirrel slightly turned side onwards with half his body sticking out towards that leg there. Body coming in the way before the other leg on the opposite side of the body sticks out. Add a few claws details there. And the same on the other foot. Nothing too detailed, just little indications of where the claws are. And of course, the big bushy squirrel tail which I said before is almost like a giant exclamation mark or balloon sausage. But on the end I'm going to just draw a little hook there to give the flow of the tail. And then let's add some fluffy detail up, indicating with mark making that it's a fluffy furry tail. And of course that scroll isn't exactly smooth so let's give him a little bit of texture as well. 
little bit of mark making. Let's go back here and improve it under the chin there to make it feel more like it connects to the body. I'll give another arm going out there, or Paul going out towards his uh, acorn that he's deservedly eating. Okay, add a little bit more fur detail, and I think I'm pretty much there. I'm quite pleased with uh, my drawings I've done today, and I hope you guys have learned something from them. So that's your turn to draw squirrels. So, uh, good luck. <laughs>